For thousands of years, astronomers have used countless successful and unsuccessful methods of tracking and mapping celestial objects in our night sky. As history continued, astronomers shared notes and began realizing the necessity to a standard of the tracking of celestial objects relative to Earth, this eventually led to a system of what we now know as right ascension and declination. This method is not dissimilar to how we use global positioning satellites, which give us a relative position in latitude and longitude here on Earth, and allowed astronomers and stargazers, worldwide, to use an international standard to properly track and view celestial objects. So, what are right ascension and declination? Right ascension is defined as the measurement eastward up to 24 hours along the celestial equator from the primary direction. In other words, in terms of latitude and longitude, the measurement from Greenwich Observatory in England meets the equator is known as the zero point for longitude, while in terms of right ascension, the zero point is the vernal equinox. The vernal equinox is the event that occurs on roughly March 20 in the Northern Hemisphere and roughly September 22 in the Southern Hemisphere. It is the specific event that occurs when the Earth shifts causing the Sun to shift hemispheres, therefore creating our seasons. Declination is the angular distance from a specific point north or south of the celestial equator. In other words, as the Earth tilts, the Northern Hemisphere will reach a declination of 23.5 degrees north during the summer solstice. This means the Northern Hemisphere will have the most sunlight and the longest amount of daylight, in a 24-hour period, when the Earth is tilted at a declination of 23.5 degrees north of the celestial equator. Here is an example to find right ascension. If a star lies on the celestial equator with a right ascension Ra, of 6 hours, then we can calculate the right ascension angle from the vernal equinox by multiplying 6 hours by 15 degrees per hour, which gives us 90 degrees from the vernal equinox. This moment is known as the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and occurs on roughly June 21st, while the winter solstice is known to occur on December 21st in the southern hemisphere. This means that your location, in right ascension angle from the vernal equinox, is relative depending on where you are on the Earth and what time of year it is. Here is another example to find declination. If a star lies at an angle of 60 degrees declination and has a right ascension ra, of 6 hours, then we can use the same equation from before, 6 hours by 15 degrees per hour, which equals 90 degrees, only we multiply it by cosine, 60, to give us, 6 hours by 15 degrees per hour by cosine, 60, which equals 45 degrees. What all this means is that if we were on a point on Earth that was 60 degrees north of the equator on March 20th, or 60 degrees south of the equator on September 22nd, and we looked directly upwards, then we would see our intended celestial object that exists at 60 degrees declination and zero hours right ascension. There you have it, how to find celestial objects using right ascension and declination. If you enjoyed the video, and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more interesting space and astronomy videos. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments let me know in the comments section down below.